All right, so we're going to go ahead and look at basically just refactoring this page here. As uh, you can see, the original or the most updated one is a little bit different. So I'm going to change the name because of some issues that I've seen. That I think there is another site or whatever that has the same page. You know, that's going to have some domain issues and all that. This is a project that I'm going to merge with this one because it's pretty much doing the same thing. So why not? And uh, I'm also going to, I think I'm going to dockerize this because obviously on the local machine, we won't really see the full PWA aspect of this. What I want to do is just to dockerize it so I can run it in a Docker container and you can see like the install uh, button and all of that stuff. So I don't have to call for this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can pull everything from my head. And uh, let's see here. First thing I want to start with is, of course, our home page. And this should be that. So the only thing that the home page has is a component that is the signing component. Firstly, uh, I'm gonna change this to sign in. So this is on here. This should be this thing right here. Then we're gonna remove, let me just expand this. Gonna remove some stuff from here as well. So this tool tip here, we're going to remove this, the spacer, we're going to remove that because we don't need it as well. So this is our title bar uh, for the form. I, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to touch the, the front end of this, the, not the front end, the back end of this. I'll probably just start the server from time to time so we can use the data that's there. But I don't think I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, actually code up the, the back end. So the, the, what I'm going to have here is like the login information. So I think that's login that and then I have some incorrect. So we're going to have First of all, we're going to need an email address. It's going to be a string. And uh, we're going to have a password, which is also going to be a string. And I actually think this should be like this. So these curly braces. I think that's what's, what I'm not really getting any good uh, color, whatever thing. So kind of messing with me. All right, so I'm gonna add a V model to this before I continue. So this is what's going to capture our data. So this will be login. Did I put login or sign in? Okay, so login at email. And uh, this will be This will be the password, obviously. So we'll just put login, that password. There we go. So this will capture that data for, for that user. We could actually toggle this thing to let it show, but let it show on and off an IP or something, but I'm going to leave that for another time. Name, as I mentioned. I'm going to change the name that should be in our core components and uh, that should be under app header. So what I'm going to change the name to is to edu app I think or I could just put the whole name there. Edori education. So this is just some sort of branding for for the, the website itself. So just to remove that issue that I was having. 
Second thing is that I want to put a V button here. I don't have, I don't seem to have an extension. This is a new machine, but a new account at least. So we're going to go for a V button that has a icon. icon and uh, the icon that we're going to be using is an MD icon material design icon and uh, this will be our view, I think it's view dashboard view dashboard and uh, the name that we're going to give this is for the dashboard our dashboard and uh, this will only show when the user actually is logged in. But I'm just gonna put it there for now. And we also need one for the, I think it's sign in. Or login, I think it's login. I'm not login, I want to log out actually then they would have already been signed in so I'm gonna go for the log out so log in for signing I think I put the sign in so we're just gonna go for sign in and uh, that should do the trick for that for going back to here I want to have a link that would take us to to the home well the register route so in the card I could actually just put a card well actually just put a router link in here so I'm gonna go for a router link that will be going to I think I don't remember what the name is so let me just go ahead and check that so this should be in in the that case So register, so it's a capital R and register. So if you go to the register page, we don't have any params. So you should remove that and just say um, register. So I'm gonna uh, I'm actually gonna put this in a paragraph tag. So I'm gonna say something like And something is okay, everything is correct here. So that's that. So that will take us to the register page. We are collecting the data. I don't think we need an ID here. So this should actually be email. This should actually be email. email. I change this to mail. This type is going to be type email, and that should be that. I'm gonna remove some of these stuff because we really don't need all of this, but I'm gonna leave it for now. Not gonna change it just yet. I'm gonna leave it for now. So if I should just save this now, I can just check uh, the edge changes once they are updated. All right, so that's finished. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so we're here. Not the best looking, but I think we got the idea. We have the dashboard thing. 
this I probably should remove the um the icon tag. I think that's what's giving that issue. This is not properly, but it does work because we're on the register form now. But there's no way to get back, so I need to actually fix that. So I guess that's something for the next video. So that's all for this one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.